Okay, Bryce and Elle, we are continuing our Chapter 9 Language Arts um, introduction to dialogue and quotations and all those wonderful things that we get to use as we're writing and also as we read different books. Uh, as you will see in, on your calendar today, you are going to uh, fill out some notes that will help you to review from the week before spring break because a lot of things get washed away during spring break. But I also, you'll also see that we are doing a chapter nine checkup. And today you are only completing the first page. So just A, just that front part. Now in this, what I wanted to do was simply remind us how to classify a sentence as we go through so that when you are completing the rest of the front of the page you will see or be able to use this information as you go forward so I've written down the two sentences you are going to use in your checkup 38 I believe it is 38 a in exercise one so we're going to go through this together we're going to ask the questions that we need to ask when we see a sentence and we are going to classify this, these sentences together. Okay, so the first one says, in August, Jody and I went on a fishing trip in Alaska. Okay, so actually sounds really fun. In August, Jody and I went on a fishing trip in Alaska. So the first word, or what is the first question that we ask when we see a sentence, we are going to ask who or what is the sentence about. We need to find our subject noun. So in this case, who went on a fishing trip in Alaska? It was Jody and I, right? Okay, so Jody went on a fishing trip in Alaska. I went on a fishing trip in Alaska. So we both, Jody and I, went on a fishing trip in Alaska. So Jody is a noun because it names, it has someone's name. I is a pronoun. So remember that I is a pronoun. So it is our subject pronoun. Now, when we look at this, we see the conjunction and. And remember that and joins two things together, right? So it is joining Jody and I. This has become one big subject, right? So in this case, we have a combined subject noun, a combined subject pronoun, and our conjunction is and, okay? So we have Jody and I. There is our subject noun or pronoun, okay? So next, the next question we're going to ask is what? We are going to ask what is being said about Jody and I. What did Jody and I do in August? Well, we went on a fishing trip in Alaska. So we went. Went is our verb. It's a past tense verb. And we'll notice that we don't have any other verbs, no helping verbs. And we have gone over that a little bit with our helping verbs and verb phrases. But in this case, we don't have one. Jody and I went, okay? So right there, there's a sentence. We have a subject and we have a verb or predicate. So Jody and I went, okay? So there is our verb. Now we need to start asking questions. We need to ask questions about went about our action, okay? Where, remember, we're going to ask three questions to find our adverbs. Adverbs describe our verb. So we're going to ask how, when, and where. So how did we go? Well, we don't really know that one, right? Um, when did we go? We went in August, right? Okay, so we went in August. Now, in August is joined together. I can't say we went in. I can't say we went August. So they're together. Because they are together and they're answering an adverb question, they become a predicate phrase, or a predicate phrase, prepositional phrase, prepositional phrase. So in is our preposition. August is our object of the preposition. How do we know that August it can be an object of the preposition? 
what does an object of the preposition, what part of speech does an object of the preposition always have to be? It always has to be a noun, right? Is August a noun? Yeah, it's a thing. It's a, it's a month of the year, right? So August is our object of the preposition. Now, we can say, where did we go? Where did we go? Well, well, one, we went to Alaska. We also went on. On what? On a fishing trip. Okay, so again, this becomes a prepositional phrase. Where we went on, on what? On a fishing trip. So on becomes a preposition, right? We know that A is an article adjective. Now we have fishing trip here. An object of the preposition always has to be a noun, person, place, thing, or idea, right? So in this case, is fishing a noun? Is it a person, place, thing, or idea? No, not in this case. How about trip? A trip is a thing, right? So this becomes the object of our preposition. And then because fishing is describing our object or our noun, it is an adverb. So fishing, or I'm sorry, is an adjective. I apologize. So on a fishing trip, preposition, article, adjective, and then this fishing is describing or is the adjective of our object of the preposition. And then finally, we went where? In. In what? In Alaska. Where was our fishing trip? In Alaska. So another prepositional phrase, Alaska is a noun. So we can say that all three of these are nouns as we do our noun check. So remember that when you're doing your noun check, you want to make sure that every subject noun and every object of the preposition is in fact a noun. That way you know that you're correct. And to help you with that, exercise two is going to ask you for one of these to list all of your nouns and to name the different types, right? And to label them. Okay, so here we are. Every single word has a label. So we're going to ask the question. Because we have a period, it is a statement. It is declarative. It's telling us something. We're going to go back to the verb and we're going to divide it. Um, from the, the subject and the predicate so that we can see where that is. And then, of course, we are still in pattern one, subject, noun, verb, pattern one. So this is how number one should look, okay, is all of these things as we ask these questions and answer them. I know that sometimes prepositional phrases can be hard, can be difficult to, to pull out of there. But if we are struggling, we can go through and look for nouns. Okay, so I know that a trip is a noun, right? So what is it saying about the trip? Well, I'm on a fishing trip. So since all of these go together, this must be a prepositional phrase. So you can go back and do it that way too to kind of check yourself. All right, let's do the second one before we end today. Do you hike in the mountains during the fall months? So we're going to ask a question. Do you hike in the mountains during the fall months? Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you ahead of time that because we have our question mark, what kind of sentence is it? It is a inter an interrogative statement, correct. So it's interrogative already, and I'll go ahead and write that down, although we'll go through it in a little bit. And then remember that an interrogative sentence a lot of times will invert the uh, sentence, right? And it gives us a helping verb before our subject noun. So here we go. Do you hike in the mountains during the fall months? If we were to make this into a statement and put our subject first, we would have to say, you do hike right? You do hike in the mountains in the fall months. So the first question we're going to ask is who or what is the sentence about? Well, it's about you, right? So is you a noun? It is a pronoun. So the pronoun is you, subject pronoun. What is being said about you? Well, you hike in the mountains during the fall months. 
But because it's asking a question, we have this helping verb. You do hike. So we have an HV or helping verb and we have a verb. All right, so this is an inverted sentence in that we don't start with our subject, our subject pronoun or subject noun. All right, so you do hike. There is our, um, there is our simple, hello, simple subject and simple predicate, right? Just like our simple subject and simple predicate, here is Jody and I went. Here it is you do hike. Okay, so now we're gonna ask the questions about hiking. We need to know some adverbs, right? Um, when are we going to hike? Hmm, well, how about during? During what? During the fall months. Okay, so we have a prepositional phrase, don't we? Okay, preposition, article adjective. Remember our article adjectives, a, an, and the. Fall can be a noun. In this case, it's not. It's describing months, which is a noun in this sentence. So it is our object of the preposition. Since this is a noun, whoops, and I'm going to write noun, what describes a noun? It's an adjective, right? Just like we saw here, we have an adjective describing our noun. Now, here we go. So during the fall months is, an, uh, is a prepositional phrase. Where do we hike? We hike in. In what? In the mountains. So here is another prepositional phrase. Article, adjective. We have a preposition, article, adjective. Are mountains nouns? They sure are. So they could be the object of our preposition. So now every, every, um, Word has its own label. We come here and we say, oh, question mark, that's easy. It's an interrogative statement, right? And then we're gonna go back and <clears throat> here we cannot separate the subject and the predicate very easily, right? Because we have our helping verb and our verb divided between the subject pronoun or divided by the subject pronoun. So, but we still have what's considered subject noun verb pattern one because we still have you hike, right? Okay, so now we're gonna check our nouns. Um, you is a subject pronoun. So we don't have to use that for our noun checks. Only if this was a subject noun would it be included in that chart or that table. Um, but we have mountains because of it, it's an object pronoun, and it is a noun. Mountains are nouns, and months are also nouns. So we've now completed classifying both sentences for the classroom, or for the um, checkup, the chapter nine checkup. If you have any questions, let me know, and thanks guys, you did great. Have a great afternoon.